Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today you are with a new lesson from grade 7 science, the sixth lesson, animal diversity. Under the lesson, we are going to discuss about vertebrates and invertebrates. This is our first subtopic. Animal world consists of millions of different animals with a wide diversity. You and your friends may have group animals based on different criteria. Mode of locomotion, body shape, body color, size of body and mode of nutrition are some of the criteria you have used to group animals. Therefore, you will learn that there is the wide diversification in animals. Human is also a member of diversified animal world. Okay, now observe, I have given you a set of animal animals okay you have to observe it human turtle snail worm crow crab elephant frog millipede starfish fish bat python duck butterfly are several species of animals which i have given to you as there are many different species of animals living in the animal world they are grouped in order to make it easy for naming, identification and to study about them. Recall how you group the animals using different criteria. Considering the mode of locomotion, like bat, butterfly and crow, you can be grouped into one group as flying animals. But these animals display a huge diversity with regard to other features. Therefore, Scientific way to classification is essential to group animals. Now, I'm going to give you a skeleton of human uh, which we can see in our school laboratory. Okay, can you see which, there's a marked word backbone. The central line of bones is known as backbone. Many animals including human beings have backbone. Okay, this is the backbone of human. The backbone means the central line of bones is known as backbone. Okay, I have given you skeletons of different animals. Now identify the nature of backbones of these animals. A skeleton of fish, skeleton of frog, skeleton of ostrich, elephant, crocodile are there. They are different in their backbones. Some animals do not have backbone. These are the animals, several species of animal well, invertebrates. That means they don't have backbone. They called as invertebrates without a backbone. Leech, butterfly, beetle, prone, snail, spider. Animals can be divided into two groups as animals with backbone and animals without a backbone. Animals with a backbone are called vertebrates. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. That means animals with backbone are named as vertebrates. Animals without backbone are named as invertebrates. Okay, I have given you a picture. Now, what you have to do? Und identify the vertebrates and invertebrates in this environment. This is the seashore. Okay. First one, seagull, like that according to the numbers I am reading the names. Seagull, turtle, species of fish, prone, hermit crab, bivalve, starfish, sea anemone, snail and worm. Now compare the answers with my answers. What do you have to do? Tabulate the animals into vertebrates and invertebrates groups. Okay, let's see who are the invertebrates and what are the invertebrates are there. Vertebrates, seagull, fish species, turtle. Invertebrates are hermit crab, starfish, bivalve, snail, prawn, worm, and sea animal. 
Okay, again I have given you a picture. This is the picture of the forest drawn by a student. Identify the organisms in picture. Then classify the animals as vertebrates and invertebrates. I think you can clearly see the picture. I have tabulated with ver using vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are human being. There's a girl in the picture. That's why I use it as a human being. Peacock, lion, tiger, bear, parrot, elephant, owl, giraffe, cobra and frog. Invertebrates are butterfly, lizard, bee, dragonfly and spider. Let's see our second subtopic, adaptation of organisms to environment. Organisms live in various environments like water, land, water, land, atmosphere on other organisms and also inside other organisms. Okay, these are the pictures for animals who live in water, land, atmosphere in, inside of other organisms like that. Other than that, there are organisms who live in snow, deep sea, in desert as well as in hot water springs. These are the micro uh, microorganisms which we can uh, observe to the light microscope who lived in snow, deep sea, in desert as well as in hot water springs. They have contoured such difficult and environmental condition due to their ability to adapt for these environments. The ability of organism adapt to their environment is called adaptation. These adaptations are useful for them to fulfill their needs like food, shelter, protection. Thereby the organisms ensure they are exist in the environment. Let's discuss the usefulness of color for the extinctions of animals. Most of the time, color of animals blend with their living environment. Thereby, an animal cannot easily be identified by the predators and they will be protected. Let's do a small activity to understand the usefulness of color for the extinctions of animals. I have given you two pictures. The one picture has different colored stones. Another one is a big stone. The mixed stones are there. Then what you have to do, you have to spread the stones with these. Uh, the second stone group. It is observed that you might have collected the green, uh, green colored stones last. What you have to do, you have to collect the, these colored stones after mixing with the second stones. You will collect the green color stone the last. Due to the similar color of the uh, stones, You are difficult to separate when you are picking it. Let's see some of animals who show camouflage. Leaf insect, moth, grasshopper, butterfly, caterpillar, whippet snake. These are the animals who show camouflage among them. The color of these animals are probably blended with their environment. Therefore, the predators cannot identify them at once. Presence of same color of this environment and the body of may animals will help them to protect themselves from the predators. The difficulty to identify animals separated from their surroundings due to the blending of their body color to particular animals is called as camouflage. These are the animals who shows the camouflage. As the skin color of animals blend with the environment, they live in predators find it difficult to catch them on uh, sight of sight at once. Most of the animals do not become victims 
to predators due to their adaptation to the environment. Skin color of animals help them not to only protect themselves from the predators, but also to find prey for them. Examples, the leopard with the spotted skin and dusty color help them to catch prey without being seen. These are some kinds of lizards change their color according to the environment they live. The species of lizard show in the camera page. Let's see how the shape helps extinctions of animals. It is important to change body color of the animals to their own protection. Similarly, the body shape of them is also very important for locomotion. Let's see, do this activity to examine how the body shape helps in locomotion. You will need these things, ladies fingers, threads, small balls of clay and pins. What you have to do, cut the ladies fingers according to the, uh, like this illustrated I, which pictures I have given to you. Then make the two forms of separated ladies fingers to move on a tray filled with the water. I think you are clearly it's clear to you you had to do uh, the shown picture as a shown picture both end of the a a a can you see the a a hence forms of ladies fingers get the circular shape whereas the bc form gets a gets the pointed shape when the two balls of clay lower down to the form of ladies fingers float along the tray. You will be able to see the streamlined shapes BC form reaches the end of the tray faster than the form of AA of lady's finger. That means the shape. The shape helps to the existence of animals. By doing this activity you can clearly understand what I am going to say. This is the picture streamlined body shape of fish and birds. You will observe several kind of birds and animal pose a streamlined shape. The body shape of birds and aquatic animals helps to overcome the difficulties they have in their environment. The body shape of birds and Fish mainly of streamlined shape because they need to have efficiency in their locomotion. Next up, subtopic key, uses of dichotomous key for the classification of organisms. Assumes that you remember how several plants leaves were classified using dichotomous key in bed 6. Dichotomous key is used to classify living organisms based on the presence and the absence of characteristics. It is more appreciated if the characteristics chosen for the purpose in easily observed. Let's see the features of dichotomous key. First one, select the feature that could be differentiated easily. Consider one feature as at all time and separate that feature as present or absent. Finally, separate the item so that only one item will remain at the end. Let's see some examples for categorization using dichotomous key. This is the animal dichotomous key. I have given you a set of animals, cock, snail, fish, frog, lizard and cobra. These animals are going to classify in the dichotomous key. The first one is presence of legs. Under that, frogs, lizard, or cock are going to that side. Absence of legs, snail, fish, cobra are going. Can you see? It words are used. Presence and absence are there. Again, presence of animals divided into presence of four legs, absence of four legs. Then absence of four legs are divided into two. Presence of fins, absence of fins. Can you see? that step is not same it's not a problem in there again then the absence of four legs are it's a one 
remaining are there so there's nothing to classify again the presence of folex we have to classify because there is a frog and lizard then it is going presence of tail absence of tail likewise presence of shell absence of shells under the last the remaining boxes with only one name this is the plant dichotomous key mango cycas guava coconut mimosa are there having branch stem not having branch stem these all features are the external appearance we are taking the external appearance features to uh, for the dichotomous key when we are doing a dichotomous key all external features are we are using there then again they are divided into two and until the last category is with remaining with one character so this is what we have to learn throughout this lesson let's meet with next video lesson forms of energy and uses thank you